Uh, my name is Mihoko Kashiwakura. I work at the Bell and Melinda Gates Foundation, and I manage our relations in Japan in this region. Um, it's an honor to be your moderator today, um, starting from Dr. Endo of NEC. Let me speak briefly on NEC's vision of achieving SDGs with international organization using the power of digital. Developing countries still have uh, many issues related fundamental human needs such as food and health, which have become more severe due to the impact of the COVID-19. In order to address such problems faced by developing countries and to make the people living there more self-reliant, it is important to build a platform that utilizes technology. Together with our partners who are uh, with us today, we aim to deploy ideas using a biometrics for the management of the vaccines distribution, food distribution, uh, building food supply chains, and more. We are building the system necessary to live more affluently. NEC has a strong desire to solve social issues with various technologies. However, NEC alone has its limits in its reach to solve global issues. By collaborating together with the international organization, uh, governments, and the private companies, as represented by our speakers, and leverage the power of the technologies to create value together, then we can solve many global issues. I'm convinced that with a true global collaboration, a more fair, sustainable, brighter future enabled by the brighter solutions is truly within our reach. For me, as, as, uh, as CIO of WFP, developing partnerships that identify technologies and solutions that can solve issues at a global scale is really a game changer. And when we get all of that right, partnerships can be the catalyst that will fast track our ability to achieve our 2030 goal of zero hunger. Um, without partnerships, we simply cannot. And through the generous support and valuable partnership of NEC, we actually are accelerating indeed our ability to build those one-to-one -one relationship, digital relationships with our beneficiaries. So we get to know them better so we can serve them better. And we also, with NEC support, we're making our ethical and protective framework as effective as the biometric technology itself. So again, we ensure that we don't cause harm. This partnership helped us create, um, provide greater choice for the people who need an end-to-end -end traceability for the donors themselves and for the partners who support us. So we hope to continue building on this partnership with NEC, with the government of Japan, but also with the, with the co-panelists with whom we serve um, on the ground uh, with great pride. Thank you. And for you, you know, the private sector and the industry have been our national partners for decades. The 2030 Agenda recognizes the importance of partnerships in SDG 17, mm. which specifically mentions technology and investment promotion, trade, and multi-stakeholder partnerships. The private sector is the primary provider of jobs, incomes, and the essential products we all need. The private sector is also the main driver of innovation. Governments would need to manage policy responses to ensure a conducive environment to the private sector to operate. Our role as an international organization is to help drive these innovations for the benefit of all countries, especially those who need our help. We must harness modern technologies for the benefit of society at large and for inclusive and sustainable development. The COVID-19 crisis has shown again the importance of partnerships, the challenges of today, such as the pandemic and climate change are global and cannot be solved in isolation. It needs international cooperation and the institutions of the United Nations for support. 
UNIDO is committed to work closely with our partners to realize the future we want. I would really want to say that uh, Sustainable Development Goals have uh, set a very high vision of leaving no one behind. Uh, COVID-19 pandemic has made that vision even more relevant, but more challenging and daunting to achieve. We have to get together to deliver on the promise that we have made to the world, particularly the poor communities under the SDGs. So this is really the time for us to have purposeful partnerships. And as I said earlier, the whole has to be greater than the sum of its parts. We have to leverage either each other's strengths and come together in a very meaningful way to create that tremendous impact that we are duty bound uh, to create uh, at this difficult hour. And I really appreciate the leadership of the government of Japan and really the partnership of NEC and Simprints and also the co-panelist uh, UNIDO World Food Program. And I know that in several countries in challenging contexts, particularly conflict uh, settings, we are working together to, to deliver services to the most marginalized and vulnerable. Thank you. My reflection and I think really key takeaway <laughs> is that the scale of the challenges the world is facing uh, from COVID to poverty and disease is so massive that I don't think there's any other way we'll be able to solve some of these without the strong use of great technologies and great partnerships. This isn't about a single pilot. It's not about a single proof of concept. If we are genuinely going to move the needle on these issues, we've got to be thinking, aspiring and working to that scale. And so I'm thrilled to sit here today and join this incredible panel hearing from all of the amazing work that's happening. And my plea is as we do this work, don't forget about those who we sometimes leave out, really particularly at the last mile, making sure the technology we deploy is inclusive, it's safe, it's ethical. If we can do that, then I think we can do a tremendous amount of good. Thank you. Uh, this year is the first year of the decade of action towards the SDGs. And we have to do what each of us can do in collaboration with many other stakeholders uh, based on the idea, leaving no one behind beyond COVID-19 towards 2030. Thank you. I think we, our discussions today very much highlight, highlighted the power of technology and digitalization, the importance of strategic partnerships, multi-sectoral solutions, um, and how it's playing a significant role in a very different world that we live in today. But technology itself does not deliver these values unless it meets the necessary needs, the specific needs of our beneficiaries, which are often accumulated by international organizations um, like the panelists that joined today. Also the role of governments are increasingly important and catalysts like the foundation like us, I think are also um, will continue to play a role. And so it's critical to continue to develop these public private partnerships to deliver these needs so that we can further accelerate the sustainable development goals together. Thank you very much for joining this session today. And it's been an honor to have all the panelists join from all over the world. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.